In 2012, ISA's Sustainability Committee decided to make a video case study showing how sustainable practices can be implemented in a sign company. Acorn Sign Graphics, a member company, graciously volunteered to open their business to us and show the many different ways in which they have gone green. Here's the result. My name is Beth Gillespie and I'm the president of Acorn Sign Graphics. Acorn Sign Graphics serves almost every market you can imagine. We do a lot of construction work in terms of new construction and renovation. So it could be a hotel, a school, commercial real estate. When I uh, came to Acorn Sign Graphics as an owner, uh, I, I was new to the sign industry and I walked into a shop and I went, oh my goodness, I don't think this is going to be a healthy place to be. I think it was minimally compliant and it was very small and it was in an old space and uh, like a lot of small sign companies, it, it uh, needed some work. Uh, my name is Neil Quimby. I work for Acorn Sign Graphics. I'm a graphic designer by trade, work as a designer and in sales. Just two years ago, we were able to design this, this space that we're in now. The space itself is a, is, a, is a wonderful environment. It's open, we can communicate back and forth, we can hear what other people are, are doing. We're not closed in little cavities. Well, biophilics is a really interesting principle about bringing natural elements, nature, into uh, your living space and your workspace. So this wall behind us is a bamboo forest and gives people a sense of the outside. We've made as much light and uh, access to visual views of nature and the outside as possible. And that has been proven to make people not only feel happier, but also be more productive. So one place to start on the workplace practices was to think about our staff. We really wanted to make this the healthiest environment we could. So when we add air handling systems and filtering systems, that also translates to better temperature control and cost savings. Hi, I'm Owen Taylor and I'm the general manager here. Well, to help meet the expectation of going green, uh, we did a number of things. Right off one was to start recycling paper and paper products. Along the lines, we've always gone the approach of making small incremental improvements in what we do. So that, of course, lend itself to the green aspect just as well. We'd always be looking for different adhesives, different uh, cleaning products, all those little things that in the long run do make a difference. When we moved to our new facility, we had our green team engaged, and in fact, all of our staff engaged in thinking about how we could furnish with reused or reclaimed materials and how we could actually do that for ourselves but then model for the A&D community who are in, in and out of our offices all the time what kinds of things are possible. So we created all of our cubicles, all of our offices with all reclaimed, reused furniture from our cubbies to our carpet which came out of another office building and actually cost us nothing because we were able to, to reclaim it. We build conference room doors using old signs and sustainable materials, we used race car bearings to make the swings on the doors. The bench in our showroom is a reclaimed shipping crate. Walk into the kitchen, there are Energy Star appliances. You see that we're washing our dishes instead of using uh, lots of paper products and disposables. People come in and they go, wow, and they get excited with us and then we, we take the journey together. I'm Tyler Prophet. I'm in charge of running a CNC and general fabrication at Acorn Sign Graphics. We have recycling in the works. We recycle plastics, we recycle aluminum, um, we recycle our bits. We have our recycling can. Once this gets full, this goes outside to another recycling container that we keep in our shed. My name is Brian Porter. I'm I've been with Acorn Sign Graphics for five and a half years, and I am the shipping and receiving manager. In the shipping area, we've developed a, a paperless way to process orders. I get trays that orders come to me on, and I'll go ahead and process those. There's no paperwork involved. All that's done through email. Really, we've run into no problems with that system, so it's not just me that's, that's doing this, it's, it's the whole company. We buy our carbon credits through UPS, but basically what it is is it's a five cent fee that is charged to us for each regular ground shipment. 
and I believe next day air shipments are 20 cents a piece. So over time, that again is gonna be something else that's gonna make a huge difference in how we're shipping things and it's on the label, the customers will see it, they'll know what we're about. Hopefully that has an influence on how other people do their shipping. When they receive our goods, they may see that we've got the label on there and they may choose to participate in the same program. The program doesn't cost us anything else outside of that. I'm thinking about the packaging that we're sending out, such as uh, shipping peanuts. They're corn-based um, biodegradable starch, and those are really great because you don't have pieces of styrofoam flying around all over the place. It's amazing to see how much we're actually recycling because that fills up more than the dumpster typically does. My name is Hillary Beasley and I'm the production manager. We use a couple of different things for streamlining our processes and the materials that we use. We also use uh, lean manufacturing organizational guidelines which allows us to track the materials that we're using through the shops for the projects to make sure we're not over ordering or throwing things away or re reworking projects that have already been made. One of the programs that we use there's a nesting function for the program that will actually allow us to nest. And by nest, I mean take everything that's in our cut file and put it into the left side of the sheet or right side of the sheet. Say if we had nothing but a, it was a four by eight sheet, we'll actually take and we'll cut out the letter set. And with the letter set, once it's cut out, it will actually save a vector of what was cut out of that four by eight sheet. I could pull it in again later and then reuse that same sheet and it knows where all the bad spots were in it and it will fill in from there using the same nesting from that vector. The materials have changed quite a bit over the, over the last decade dramatically due to the, the uh, impact of the lead, uh, such as Plyboo, um, where we're printing direct to substrate onto any material rather than having to print onto vinyl. So I think most of you know about LEED. It's a building standard developed by the United States Green Building Council. That standard and LEED certification is something that is becoming more and more prevalent throughout the United States. It's going more global also but a lot of the renovation and a new construction, particularly in civic projects and government projects, is in the LEED arena in having facilities that are LEED certified. So for us in the sign industry, it becomes really important to understand that standard and be able to engage with people who are working on green projects. And so to have credibility to work with those projects, at least to be able to understand that standard and what its objectives are has been really important. It's, I think it's been very uh, exciting for us in terms of the kinds of, of projects that have come to us because we've been able to demonstrate that we understand LEED and that we're excited about it. Our website shows a lot of our LEED practices and it's attracting people that have um, LEED projects. So the signage needs to be harmonious with the materials within the architecture. So we have developed a series of sign packages and the way that you, you fasten those to the wall are mechanical versus tape and silicone type mailing. So we've got a whole line of, of uh, sign packages that, that are we consider green friendly. We are using paper stone that is reclaimed and we're using the PETG faceplate, the Plex with DTS graphics on the front and aluminum hardware. The PETG is 40% post-consumer recycled plastics. This is a flatbed printed direct to surface graphics. This curtain here is great. It uh, keeps a lot of the cold and heat out depending on the time of year. And also there's weather stripping on the door over there that's been installed. Um, but without this, it, it would definitely be a lot cooler in here in the winter time and a lot hotter in the summertime. So I think that that also, not a huge thing, but over time it makes a big difference. We try to gang our installs up so if we're going to a certain given area, we try to hit jobs on the way and on the way back. And uh, of course, keeping our vehicles well maintained always helps with fuel efficiency and all of those good things. I think there's a really interesting dialogue about whether it costs more to go green as a company uh, and whether it costs more to go green in terms of your materials and what you're using or whether you actually get savings. And I think for us, maybe things are tilting 
toward uh, the savings side and toward bringing more to our bottom line. One thing I can think of in particular that um, we could maybe improve on that we're not currently doing, we've got a recycling program in place. It's managed by the same company who takes our waste, but there's also another option out there where we can get like a site dumpster and they'll take everything that's not household trash. So the only drawback to that system is that it costs money. When we figure out a way to factor that in, um, it's definitely a program that we're interested in, in, in taking advantage of, for sure. A corporate commitment to sustainability has meant and, and continues to mean an ongoing process of education. We're really humble about what we don't know. In 2003, when we started on this journey, there wasn't a lot of attention to going green in the sign industry. We're attending workshops and seminars, we're sleuthing things at trade shows, we're, we're training our vendors to teach us about everything that they know in terms of products and processes that's green. We're reading blogs and publications, we're uh, attending uh, community events with other like-minded people who can teach us. We're going to the A&D community where there is already so much progress in green building and we're learning from them. And it's coming to our bottom line, it's coming to our brand, it's coming to attracting talent, and it's coming to uh, really, I think, a, a healthier, more productive, and more profitable um, um, strategic position for us as a company.